Hey everybody, good news. I got the wound back off so I can actually stand up, I'm gonna pick this up with, and actually walk around with nothing attached to me, which is amazing. So very, very happy. I just wanted to show you that little demonstration. But that's not why I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video because I want you to understand, you know, agents and even people in the mortgage industry. And um, a lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't. But it's a simple thing of, with, with appraisers right now, that there's a massive shortage of appraisers out there right now. So just like inventory right now, inventory is so, it's the lowest it's been, what, in 50 years plus. So when you deal with uh, appraisal, what you want to do is exhaust every avenue on the front end to see if you really need an appraisal or not. Now, this is just for conventional, okay? For government loans, it's, it's not going to apply. So for an example, we had a file right now, and it was somewhere down south, I think it was in Florida, that we're trying to look for an appraiser, and they're backed up, and I get it, and, and they're working their tails off, and you know, nothing, I totally understand. They just, there's just not enough of them, okay? So basically, uh, what we did is, uh, we ran the file through Fannie Mae, okay? And Fannie Mae said that, that we had to have an appraisal. So then we switched it to Freddie Mac and we got a property inspection waiver. Now let me tell you something, when we started getting quotes on this appraiser, appraisal, uh, they, were, they were getting up to $1,400 and four weeks out, okay? And you know, it's because they're totally backed up. And, and, and you know, I get it, you know, price is crazy, but I get it, okay? So something to really think about, I mean, this really saved us to make sure we can close on time. Now we're saving the borrower instead of paying a full appraisal. You know, he pays a property inspection a waiver fee. I think it's somewhere at 50 to 70 bucks, somewhere around there, instead of paying 500 plus for an appraisal. Well, in this case, 1400. So that's the thing. So if, if you have a file out there, you know, I'm speaking to agents as well, and it's taken a while and it's a conventional loan, make sure that they're running it uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie. Okay, now some lenders don't do that. Some lenders say, hey, listen, if you run it this way, you have to go this way, not us. We can look at both ways, uh, which makes life a lot easier, and especially on this one. We got a property inspection waiver and we're off and running. And financially, we're already done with the file. It's just a matter of, you know, getting this done and, and so forth. So property inspection waiver means you don't have to have a, you know, appraiser go out to the property. You don't need an appraisal, uh, but, the, but the borrower has to acknowledge that they accept the property inspection waiver. And what that is, it's basically a calculation that happens within the algorithms within Freddie or, or uh, Fannie saying that, uh, yes, we accept this value because you know we've seen comps, we've seen these sales and so forth, okay? But big thing, big issue right now, it's the biggest thing that's holding up closings right now. It's not financial, financial we're turning around stuff within the same day or the very next day, you know, as far as getting approvals. But it's just waiting on these appraisals. Uh, once again, it's just a massive shortage on appraisals. It's not something that they can fix pretty easily anyway, because it's a two year apprenticeship. So, and then you can start doing appraisals. So uh, it's gonna be around for a while. So you gotta really look at every little technique uh, and there's different techniques to uh, tweak inside the system to see if it can trigger a property inspection waiver or not. So uh, very, very important. It can really save a deal, make everybody happy. Um, so as a lender, it's our responsibility to try to exhaust every avenue on the front end to make sure there's no issues. So, all right. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. And... I am wound vac free. That means this little machine, I have it here. This little machine here. This was my buddy, we named him Bob. And this thing was stuck to my leg with a cord. Well, not this wasn't, but a cord from this was stuck to my leg for about two months, just under two months. And so anywhere where I would go, this thing was attached. And thank goodness this came out with technology like this because back in the day, and they still have this, the wet to dry, they would take these gauze pads and just pretty much, and then wrap it with a bandage and that was it, you know, open wound. I mean, it's like 1776 stuff. So this stuff actually kept it clean, kept it uh, from getting infected. It brought the tissue together, um, it brought everything together. So, but I am sending this bad boy back, back. I'm done, done, done with this. So. Uh, I got to go back next week, and next week they're going to uh, just, you know, I got one week, I can be very careful with it, I can't you know, be stupid with it. Uh, you know, anytime I'm sitting down, I can put my leg up and just, you know, be smart about it. And then that after next week, I should be home clear with the wound being totally, totally ready to go. And then, then I got to start working on rehab because I'm, you know, I'm walking now, but it's a, it's a pretty bad limp, and, and the muscles is so tight right now. So anyway, very, very happy. Thanks, everybody, for all your thoughts and prayers. It's been 
eventful. <laughs> it's been crazy the last two months. So just thank you so much. And if you got any questions about anything else, just let me know. Have a great night. Talk to you soon.